I got an email that says one school announcement or opportunity for your child. So I opened it up and I looked it over and I'm going to kind of go over or replay my, some of my thoughts as I read this email and looked at it. Rock Grief Camp for Children 6 to 16 years old. The YMCA. Remembering Others. Creating Keepsakes. Now I'm going to um, show you some things in here I want you to remember because these are they, they could be kind of clues to some things, some, something later on that I'm going to mention in the picture down below. August 28th from 9 to 5. This is when they're planning it, okay? August 28th. I guess it's a one-day event. Down in the, uh, in the uh, corner, it says, For Youth Development, not down in the corner, in the upper corner, for youth development, for healthy living, for social responsibility. When you put your kid in a camp, do you want them to have healthy living habits taught to them? Of course. I, I think most people that are interested in health would want that. Um, for their development, would you want that? I think most people would want that. Would you want them to have social skills? They're good skills to have, to learn, where um, an older person teaches the children what to say and what not to say and what situations and what to do in certain situations and um, how to have manners and how to have boundaries and how to ex exercise boundaries for ourselves as well as towards others and respecting their boundaries. Well, down here it says for social responsibility. It doesn't say social skills. I think that that has something to do with propaganda involved with that. Okay, so remember I pointed out August 28th. Camp Rock supports grieving children and teens ages 6 to 16 who have experienced the loss of a parent or primary caregiver within the past year. That is really nice that someone thought of that. Our camp experience provides each child with an opportunity to treasure and remember their loved one with the assistance of a trained of, of trained staff and environment that provides new experiences for growth. Okay, I hope they explain that a little further before um, you know, like what all is involved in that day to provide those things. Campers will experience typical camp activities like archery and kayaking, interspersed with therapeutic interventions. Well, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds like, you know, maybe a holistic environment or something that is an environment catering to their, you know, sensitive needs because they're going through grieving process. Space is limited, da 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 Our camp is a one-day, no-cost camp experience that empowers a grieving child through professional, philanthropic, pastoral, and volunteer connections. We provide a safe place for children learning to cope with grief and to find a true sense of hope that can change their life. Space is limited. Does... Okay, this is the confusing part. This is the confusing part. If these children are supposed to be healing from trauma of losing a caregiver, a caregiver, a primary caregiver or parent, why would you put them in an environment where you have to cover their face and torture them and deprive them of oxygen? That makes no sense. And do you wonder why they... I wonder why they have the picture showing a masked child. You see how their eyes are all her eyes are all squinty. They're trying to show that she's smiling under her muzzle. That she's happy like that. 
Okay, now I'm going to go back up to the top. You tell me. Is it healthy living? You see up there it says for healthy living. Is that healthy for the child? Even a non-grieving child? To have that put on their face. Is that healthy? Mentally, emotionally, and physically. No. Okay, so now, now it kind of makes you think a little bit. Social responsibility. Does that have something to do with this, maybe? I don't know. Makes you kind of wonder. Makes you kind of wonder. How about a camp for all kids? Because over the last year and a half, all our children have been brainwashed and traumatized. Well, not those of us that know better, but the ones that know better still have children that are probably traumatized, even though they may know better, they're still traumatized by it. But I'm talking about the ones that their parents are choosing to be willfully ignorant and misinforming their children. So they're not only traumatized, but they're also misinformed. So a camp that could heal those children from that trauma over the last year and a half. Those children especially need it, not just children that have lost a parent. Um, it's kind of interesting and makes me curious why they chose that type of reason for that one day camp. If it had something to do with the you know what, you know, because, you know, trying to make it sound like we're still in the middle of this you know what and you know trying to make it like everybody's dying all around us from that or if that has nothing to do with it but I'm still curious if it doesn't then what prompted them to want to do that for that reason because I would think based on my knowledge that Having a camp for kids to help with their trauma from the last year and a half of being brainwashed and misinformed and being made to do all the things that they've had to do, uh, at least the ones that went to public school, and just going anywhere and being treated the way that they were treated so abusively, being forced to wear those things on their faces, those satanic things, and having to practice this new cult ritual as a child and be taught that it's all for a different reason that's not even true uh, those kids really need to be unbrainwashed you know what I mean those kids need to camp the most and so do all the other kids so what's your idea of a great camp for kids that would provide for their healthy development, healthy living skills, and social skills. Not social responsibility, but social skills. That was not fun having to watch. Finding about, finding out that they're going to do that to those kids. But I have good news. There is at least one that I know of that is not going to do that. And um, they're in the state of North Carolina. I'm not going to say who they are but it's everything is completely totally normal about it you know normal is how we knew normal before that's what I'm talking about you know it's gonna be like that and that's great so I hope there's more like them and less like the video like the one that I showed you in the video hopefully there's more not like that 